Hello everybody, welcome to another part of the Remaking Door series. Today what we're going to be implementing is the elevator cutscene in the beginning of the game. When you first spawn in, you start an elevator and then you um, can open the door, like the elevator doors, and uh, go into the first level. So that is what we're going to be implementing in our games today. So the first things we're going to add is we're going to go ahead and make the elevator hole in the start room here. So go ahead and get a part make this the size of our uh, door that we have we're gonna use this for like measuring and we might want to make this a little bit bigger than we have that as you guys can mess with this however you would like Again, um, I didn't say this yet, but um, link to this updated uh, start room model will be in the description with the elevator in it. So we're just going to build this little elevator part here. Like this. Let's make this kind of the same. So 15.8 by 15.8. Pretty good. Uh, make this like that, I guess. Uh, and then uh, I guess we'll just make like the walls like metal or something, or not? We can just we can keep them wood. Maybe make it a little bit shorter than the actual room. Like that. Okay. And then we got another one. Alrighty. So, there we go. We got our basic elevator room set up here. But we need uh, two doors, right? So... Let's go ahead and drag this out to the size of the elevator. Let's see here. So the size of this is 9.2. So each of them are going to need to be um, 4.6 in size. So this one's 4.6 and then this one's 4.6. So now they're the same. So we can name this one um, door one. Name that one door two. Uh, let's get a like a elevator decal or image or whatever you want to call it um is there any good ones there might not be any good ones if there's not then that's fine yeah i don't think there's any good ones but that's fine whatever it's we'll just uh change the color of the of these a little bit um <clears throat> Another thing you might want to put is you might want to put a light in there. Wait, hold up. Just so that people can actually see. Uh, make it like that. It looks pretty good. And then, um, let me think here. Take the spawn location. Make sure it's not in this room anymore. Put it in the elevator. You can shrink it down if it's too big. So let's hit play now and see how it is looking. And that looks pretty good. But now we need a button on the side, so let's make the button that you'll uh, click. So this could be pretty simple. We're just gonna do like this. You guys can make it look, you know, however fancy you want. If you guys have a model, if you guys are going to make like a model for a button, when you group it, just have like a primary part, which you'll insert a um, attachment and then a proximity prompt inside of it. 
like this. So just if you guys are model, like if you guys have a model for a button where you have where you want to add more details, just make sure that you have a part that has an attachment with the proximity problem inside of it, and then drag the uh, attachment wherever you want them to interact with it. I'm just gonna name this open. Just like that. Can we find a good elevator opening sound? Those all kind of suck. Eh, I kind of like that. We'll go with that. What we're going to do, we're going to group this up. Group this. So we're going to get the two doors and the frame and the button, and we're going to group them all together. We'll name this elevator door. We can put it inside of the start point. Um, what was that sound that we just inserted? Right here. Okay. We can put this inside. Um, we can just leave it inside that part, actually. Um, inside this right here. Um, we can union these. Because this is the uh, frame. And then we have door one and door two. So now let's get to coding. So we will say, we will insert a script inside of that prompt. Um, uh, elevator sound, um, So, well, yeah, we're just defining everything. So, prompt, button part, elevator sound, and then the elevator door, which is like the model of everything. And we can define the door. So, we could say door one. Like that. Let's go ahead and see the position. So, would we drag it? Because we want to tweet it. So, would we drag it like this? How much is that uh, subtract? Let's see here. So, the start one is 127.6. Actually, no, let me do it like this. Okay. We want to go. Yeah, we'll go one more. So we'll do 4.7. All right. Uh, we're going to go back inside of that prompt. Uh, say prompt.trigger call connect function. Uh, that should be good. We're going to make something right here called local is open equals false. If is open equal equals false, and then we're, if it is uh, set to false, we're gonna set it to true, so we can't reopen the elevator. Then, uh, we'll game call get service tweet service. We'll create. Um, door one. Tweet info dot new. Uh, we'll do one and then in here we're going to do comma squiggly brackets and this is where we'll hold our position uh, I guess we can just do what we had so udim 2 dot new and then whatever position that you want to tweet it to so we'll say oh wait no wait my bad. Not what I have too. That's a wrong thing. It's a vector three. Vector three dot do. There we go. Then we'll do 
play. We'll copy this one. We'll put it down here. <clears throat> we'll change it to door two. And then uh, this should be pretty much the same thing, except we're adding on to it. So to find out what this is, it's pretty simple. We'll do plus uh, 1.7. This one will be negative 118.3. And we will go ahead and play that. Then we could do this. We could do elevator sound cold play. And uh, I think that should work. Let's go ahead and play. And it worked, but uh, that was a little bit fast. So we will uh, we will we will tweet it right away. We'll play the sound first, and then we'll like wait one second, and then we'll play it. And uh, make these linear instead. All right, let's go ahead and see if it works. Let's wait for the force field to go away. So open, and there we go. And then we are in a. Uh, now we are in our first room, and then we continue along. That is very loud. But there you go. That's how you make the uh, the uh, elevator. If you want to add like music or something, uh, you do like. So. Elevator music. That'll work. Um, we'll like insert a part. This could be like our music part, so we'll anchor this. We'll make can't collide, can't touch, everything set to false, invisible. Take this and put it inside of that part there we'll throw it inside of uh star point doesn't really matter and um <clears throat> we will do first of all that is extremely loud for no reason point 25 should be good and uh we'll loop it We will do um, elevator door dot parent dot music part dot uh, music home play and then here we'll do game control get service tween service So <clears throat> now what should happen is it should be playing the music when we spawn in. And then we open, the music stops, it gets tweened out, and we are able to go through. And if we try to press this again, we can't because we already opened it. So <clears throat> that is how you um, add a elevator starting cutscene, kind of, I don't really know what to name it, but uh, that's how you add it to your game. Again, model to this will be linked in the description. Um, it'll be linked in this start point model so you can just take the new start point delete the old one and take the new one and put it inside the workspace and it'll, it'll still work with uh, your generation script if you have any questions comments or suggestions or concerns or whatever you have uh, for a future episode please leave them in the comments below we are so close to 900 subscribers um, so if you enjoyed the video like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, yeah as always i will see you guys in the next one